Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Steve and today I'm gonna show you how you can use Zolib as a complete beginner. So let's get started. First let's create our account by pressing on new organization here. Then let's write the organization name for example uh, tutorial and organization type is maybe education for profit language let's use American English English add organization URL um, tutorial okay lower you, sh you shall write all the domain in lowercase like that and email address let's put our email address here and create organization now we need to confirm uh, our email address i will confirm it and be right back to you after confirming my email i was transmitted to this page so it shows you all your info and now you shall write your full name so let's write the name and the password I agree to terms and I will not subscribe to Zulip's low traffic newsletter now sign up and here is our interface so basically here we have this left menu which contains recent conversations, inbox all messages, mentions, stored messages and drafts. We also have direct messages. Uh, we have streams which are more like of channels. So uh, starting with the messages here, let's just go to all messages. Here you can find all the related messages to you and you can uh, even uh, search for specific a feature like direct messages, stored messages, you can search for whatever you want, you can even search uh, for for example for a specific topic like swimming turtles sorry I missed the spelling here okay that's just search for swimming and here we are here you can find uh, this uh, this channel which is um, or this stream which is a subset of cha of general or a topic uh, in general uh, stream and you can find the related messages so basically this is a strong feature you can uh, navigate through different uh, inboxes like the mentions like start messages you can even go to all messages and search for a topic search for a specific stream search for anything you want now moving um, to the streams here which are as I said the are like um, channels and in these channels you can store different topics like in general channel here or general general stream you can find swimming turtles topic and to topic demonstration so if you want to create a new stream you can just click on this and you can um, write the stream name here like uh, tutorial for example you can write the description and you can also um, announce new stream in general which will send an auto auto automatic message in uh, the general chat uh, that all of the that all of the participants participants in the general uh, chat will uh, know that you have uh, started and use a new stream which is called tutorial so is this is basically like an announcement and here you can configure the, st uh, the channels or streams uh, permissions and settings like if you want it uh, to be public uh, stream, private stream, uh, private stream with protected history so you can select, I will just select public and um, who can post on this stream you can just select admins only to post on this stream if it's something like a classroom for example and you are the teacher and you want to just uh, post some materials, some exams on this stream and you don't wa want uh, chaos in the stream that students talk in and so on. So uh, if it's a general stream you can just press on everyone and you can create your own stream. 
And so you have your stream here. You can also edit it anytime uh, by pressing on the edit stream. You can uh, check these tabs, personal and uh, subscribers. You can also uh, find the subscribers here who are in this channel or this stream. And you can also unsubscribe to any stream you want to leave. And you can view from here. So this is basically how you can create a stream and you will find it here. So basically we have the general now and the tutorial stream here. So let's say um, we want to create a new topic in this stream. So um, all what you need to do is simply by just click on this bar downward and here you can control which stream you are in. So we are in tutorial and here is this topic which is stream events which was automatically created with the stream. You can choose this topic or you can start a new topic from here. So by deleting this and saying, for example, tutorial one. So you have started a new topic here and you can write any message you want. You can also add uh, these features downward. You can add an attachment by uploading your files. You can uh, add voice call, video call, add emoji. Uh, you can add any of these features downward. So uh, let's say this is a tutorial and send it and voila. So you have started a new uh, topic here, which is a subset of this stream and you can uh, write anything you want in, it, in here. You can also uh, edit the message anytime you want by clicking on edit. You can access uh, to edit the message here. And by pressing on save, it will show you that this message has been edited. And it will also show you the edit history. You can also access more actions here, like move message, delete message, add emoji reaction, and so on and so forth. You can also store this message, and you will find it in the stored messages if you did so. There is a final feature that I want to discuss uh, that will help you to write any message uh, in any topic or in any stream, which is the message formatting. If you click on this, you will find many types of formatting that will help you to uh, type the message you want. For example, if you want to add mathematical formula, you can just scroll down and you will find here a mathematical formula and you can add it. You can also add a list, add um, heading, you can add any format you want from here. You can also search filters from here. So basically, this will help you to um, write any type of message you want. You will also find key, sorry. Here you can also find keyboard shortcuts that may help you to uh, easily manipulate the text chat or the text box in the streams. So uh, this is basically how you can use Zolib. You can, as I mentioned, you can search for your messages using the filter or the search box. You can uh, create a new stream, create a new topic. You can um, type whatever you want in the text message here uh, or the, in the message box here. You can start a new topic. You can categorize your, uh, your team into groups. So basically, if you are a teacher, for example, you can create uh, a stream, a different stream for each classroom and you can start various topics in each stream. So that's Zolib in a nutshell. Hope you guys learned from this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.